welcome to the River Center's Fish of the Week. My name is Sarah, and this week we would like to spotlight a longtime resident here at the River Center, the balloon fish who's hiding somewhere in this tank. Um, these guys are members of the porcupine fish family and can be separated into different genuses based on their body spines. So spines on burfish are relatively short and fixed in an upright position. Spines on balloon fish, he's finally coming. Spines on balloon fish are longer and normally kept down folded against their body. But when they're threatened, the balloon fish can extend them upwards as it inflates its body with water. So he's kind of sneaking around on the bottom. Let's get a little bit closer and check him out. When inflated, the balloon fish has an appearance of a giant sand spur, which allows the fish to defend itself. They swim slowly, with only short bursts of speed. You can often see them resting on the bottom, blending in, and camouflaging with the background. All members of the porcupine fish family have fused teeth like a solid plate and powerful jaws which are used to crush hard-shelled invertebrates such as hermit crabs, shrimp, and sea urchins. Like puffers, their viscera, the organs in their abdominal cavity, contain the poison to trotodoxin. Despite their spines and toxins, out in the wild, these fish would be eaten by tiger sharks, houndfish, goliath groupers, white grunts, giant barracudas, and most species of snapper. Balloon fish are identified by their large brown blotches on their back. They are olive and brown with a dusky band that runs from eye to eye. Their eyes have a pupil that are iridescent blue-green specks. Balloon fish are found worldwide in tropical and subtropical waters. Juvenile balloon fish are found floating in the open ocean with sargassum or on the sea surface. Adult balloon fish are associated with high structures, commonly on reefs and other hard bottom habitats. They can also be found in grassy areas and mangroves. Something interesting about their natural history, courtship behavior was observed in both balloon and pufferfish where pairs interact swimming close together. 